Some professions call for an around-the-clock commitment and even a deep devotion for the art of the job. For example, an occupation like being a singer or even a performer means the show must go on despite any possible mishaps. With that, we are bringing you 11 music artists who perform straight through some onstage injuries. As expected, some of these accidents are pretty gruesome, so kicking off the list with a comparably minor injury is Michael Buble and his knocked out tooth. During a concert in Sydney, the jazz singer had an unfortunate run-in with his mic. Regardless of his oral accident, he finished the show, then headed to a dentist for an emergency dental surgery, which was all recorded on his Instagram page. For an injury that happened offset, Leanne Pinnock from Little Mix suffered serious burns on her legs from a vocal steamer. Although Little Mix was more than willing to complete the show without their injured member, Leanne joined them on stage near the end of their set with giant bandages wrapped around her legs. Now that's commitment. Rewinding things back to 2009 when Justin Bieber was opening for Taylor Swift in London, he also had an unfortunate accident. After singing one time, Justin tripped and rolled his ankle, which led to a trip to the medic and a canceled on An excited 15-year-old Justin took to Twitter after his ankle roll to tell his fans that Taylor Swift paid a visit when he was recovering and that everything was fine. Oh, how the times have changed. Justin wasn't alone in podiatric misfortune. When Tyler the Creator was on his tour in London, he completely broke his foot during a performance. Being loved for his unconventional character, Tyler clearly expressed the pain his foot was causing him, but refused a wheelchair or a stool. Instead, the rapper wanted to crowd surf, even with a blow to his foot. Talk about dedication. Yet another accident caused by misstepping happened when Jessie J broke her ankle back in 2011. During a rehearsal, the British pop star fell off the stage causing significant damage that not only caused her inability to walk, but even years of transplants, fusions, and surgeries on her foot. It's caused her lingering pain for the following years, but Jessie still showed dedication to her craft by performing in a boot several times. Another female power vocalist who experienced a showcase setback was Demi Lovato. During her world tour, the singer hurt her arm and the accident led her to wear a sling. She explained her situation on a Facebook post prior to her San Antonio performance, but alas, she did not let the sling slow her down. Another artist who sustained a tour injury was Ali Brooke Hernandez from Fifth Harmony. During their 727 tour, Ali hurt her foot while performing in Boston. Although the injury seemed serious as she was limping while finishing the work from home with her, she assured her fans on Twitter that she was fine. She also thanked her fans for the hashtag GetWellSoonAllie. When it comes to overcoming an injury for the sake of performance, Jack White, a former member of the White Stripes, has also experienced such troubles. When a singer sprained his ankle in San Francisco during the early stages of his 2014 tour, he was advised to postpone the rest of the tour. Apparently, nothing could stop him, and he ended up carrying on with his performances the very next day. Disabled list, we'd take you off the tour. We should cancel the tour right now. So but we, you said no. I, it's just too much trouble. I mean, like, I hate canceling anything. It's so disappointing for everybody, you know. Yeah, so that's amazing that you're not canceling the tour. A foot like that. Next up is a Coachella performance that gave Florence Welch a broken foot. When the Florence and the Machine singer leaped off of the stage, the jump injured her foot and nearly costed her some important tour dates. She later took to Facebook to tell her fans that she will continue on with the tour and attempt to make every show special despite having to make her performances more milder due to her injury. But seriously, if you didn't have a memorable mishap during Coachella, did you even go to Coachella? I think, I can't really remember how high it was, but I think it was quite high up. Don't people catch you usually when I see people jump from stages in the whole thing you're supposed to... <laughs> there you are. Yeah, I'd also taken off my top as well. Steering away from foot-related incidents, Enrique Iglesias suffered a luckless accident during his show in Mexico when he attempted to catch a drone. The rotating blades of the drone severely cut his hand, causing a bloody performance. Still, the singer continued to perform for 30 minutes post the accident for his 12,000 fans, earning him a new level of respect. However, as soon as the show ended, Enrique was airlifted to LA and even had to receive reconstructive surgery on his hand. <laughs> Last but certainly not least was an ill-fated 
injury Queen Bee suffered during her title concert in Brooklyn. During the show, Beyonce was performing her song Haunted. Her earring ripped through her lobe, causing her to bleed. Being a literal queen, she casually acknowledged her injury, but continued on performing, remaining completely unbothered. She didn't earn the name Sasha Fierce for nothing. of artists who performed through some serious injuries. All of these instances just proves their serious devotion and love for the fans. But now I want to ask you guys, was there ever a time you witnessed one of these accidents during a concert? And what was your immediate reaction as a fan? Let me know about it in the comment section below. And after you're done with that, click right over here to see celebrities who got attacked by fans on stage. I'm your host, Naz Perez. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.